Hello everybody. Today we're taking a look at how to apply those coronavirus ideas and architecture on an actual example uh, in Berlin. So there is this park called the Temple of Afeld, which is a very um, a big airplane field, which was decommissioned after um, the, the wall fell and there was no use anymore for this gigantic piece of park. So what we are trying to do here is basically applying those principles and, the, and ideas that we, we talked about in the early videos and use those to make an actual building. So Berlin has this very big 3D model that you can use and we basically took those pieces and houses from it and wanted to know the distance of those houses to our site. So here for example, you go on the area that you want want to take. Links are in the description, by the way. You set up a rectangle, and then you agree with the terms, and you're able to get the size that you want. Same as well would be uh, in a LD2 model, so level of detail 2 model, um, that you can get on this website as well, and you can just take the part that you want and ex import it into your things. Make sure you want, you are also importing the trees and the normal housing geometry as well. So with this data, we are able to start our approach. So I was just took this rendering and I just laid it out and I wanted to take a look at how I thought those things are presented in this matter. The outcome of that is this piece of wooden like mesh that we created from the files and then we have an overlay of our ideas and thoughts that first came into our minds and we have them here in this overlaying structure now so we have this those to overlay it. so we basically have the hanger there in the beginning that was continued to our structure and it is lift upwards it has those different entrances to ensure protectiveness and minimize the risk of contamination, as well as the connectivity to the already existing buildings that are in the western part of that area. So with that in mind, we wanted to continue and I set up a grasshopper script um, with Rhino. Um, they basically work if you have a certain idea in mind and you start by basically having this rectangle in the beginning that, that has uh, vertical um, divisions and those divisions then have certain boxes in them and those box heights react to the distance of the points that are defined uh, from before, from this distance that, that, that we saw. Then in those boxes we have a facade, so basically every box or everything has an individual piece of usage, so individualism for each of your like housing units. So we took this and then we created this very like raw rendering and just put it on top of there and we tried a little bit more of how this could actually work. So you basically have those facades that go in and out depending on the distance to the other houses. You have the division that you have created in between. Then you have the individual zones that are created by for each box, which then in itself go back and forth a little bit. And those are then connected to an inner point, which is a point of connectivity in those times of crisis. And this point then as well has this elevator downwards to level zero in order to be in the outside world, to have those three different zones that are very clearly defined. So then to continue this, we wanted to make sure that those boxes are actually connected correctly and that there is a certain sense of individual individuality there. And we made sure also we just added some small details like um, the correct frames around them. And then we also played around and, and looked 
where those things are correctly anyway. And then we set up the rendering perspective so we are able to, to get a sense of how it would look like. I was going for like a module kind of uh, viewing in this case. So here we basically see those different zones that are defined by that and by those um, different layers that you can you cross the paths but you're not really touching the other one's person's um, belongings in a way. So here there are some more times footage of how those the, the inner part of this is more defined and how it correctly sits in there. And there were some problems as well with the connectivity points and then with those boxes that are like correctly aligned as well. Furthermore, the file itself was quite big so it took quite a long time to render actually and to uh, export the geometry in the correct manner because it's a very uh, gigantic mesh file that they provide there, which is still uh, quite usable though. So with that in mind then, here we see it in the LOD model, which how it basically fits in there in the RAM that goes directly on there. You have this gigantic piece of structure that is sitting there and uh, is a little bit lifted from the surroundings in itself. So yeah. Here we have a final model of how it could look like and you have like a tilt shifted view of it and how you have your social isolated work life that can be used day to day. So thank you very much for watching, hope you got something out of it, see you in the next one and stay healthy and bye bye.